June 1942. The world was in the grip of World War II, and in the Pacific, the United States was locked in a desperate struggle against the seemingly unstoppable military might of Imperial Japan. Just six months earlier, Japan had launched a devastating surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, crippling the U.S. Pacific Fleet and setting the stage for Japanese dominance in the region. But the attack on Pearl Harbor was just the beginning of Japan's plan to control the Pacific. With its forces rapidly advancing, Japan sought to knock the U.S. out of the war for good by launching an all-out assault on a small atoll named Midway, the final stepping stone to Hawaii. The U.S. Navy, though outnumbered and still reeling from the losses at Pearl Harbor, was prepared to meet this threat head-on. What happened next would be a pivotal change in the course of history. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Infinite Altitudes, where we bring you everything about aviation. In this video, we bring you the story of the Battle of Midway, a decisive aeronaval battle that was fought between the 4th and 7th June, 1942. By mid-1942, Japan's naval power was at its peak. Under the command of Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, the Imperial Japanese Navy had secured victories across the Pacific, seizing control of vast territories. But Admiral Yamamoto knew that to secure Japan's dominance, they needed to eliminate the U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers, ships that had escaped destruction at Pearl Harbor. Midway Atoll, strategically located about 1,300 miles northwest of Hawaii, was the perfect target. By capturing Midway, Japan could launch attacks against the Hawaiian Islands and further isolate the U.S. from its Pacific holdings. The Admiral's plan was simple but bold. Lure the U.S. carriers into a trap by attacking Midway, crush them in a decisive battle, and end U.S. resistance in the Pacific once and for all. But the Japanese weren't the only ones planning a surprise. Thanks to a major intelligence breakthrough, U.S. Navy cryptoanalysts had successfully broken Japanese codes. They knew about Japan's plans for Midway before the battle had even begun. This critical intelligence gave Admiral Chester Nimitz, the U.S. Pacific Fleet commander, a strategic advantage. He positioned his forces to ambush the Japanese, turning Admiral Yamamoto's trap against him. With this knowledge in hand, Nimitz deployed his carriers USS Enterprise, USS Hornet, and the repaired USS Yorktown to a position northeast of Midway. The stage was set for one of the most pivotal air-naval battles in history. On the morning of June 4, 1942, Japanese aircraft launched the first wave of attacks on Midway Atoll, bombing the island's defenses. But as they did, U.S. carrier-based TBD Devastator Torpedo Bombers planes took off in search of the Japanese fleet, aiming to catch their enemy off guard. The initial U.S. airstrikes were chaotic. The outdated TBD Devastator Torpedo Bombers were shot down in large numbers by Japanese fighters and anti-aircraft fire, and it seemed the battle was turning in Japan's favor. Are you still with us? Give us a thumbs up to show your support and to motivate us to bring you more such stories from the world of aviation. Of the 41 Devastator bombers sent to attack the Japanese carriers, only six made it back. It was a devastating loss for the Americans. But just as Japan prepared for victory, everything changed in a matter of minutes. At precisely the right moment, a group of U.S. Douglas SBD Dauntless launched from USS Enterprise and USS Yorktown appeared high above the Japanese fleet. With Japanese fighters distracted by earlier attacks and their carriers vulnerable, the dive bombers struck with pinpoint accuracy. In a matter of minutes, three of Japan's four frontline aircraft carriers, Akagi, Kaga, and Soryu, were engulfed in flames. The fourth carrier, Hiryu, launched a counterstrike and managed to badly damage USS Yorktown, but the U.S. still had the upper hand. By the end of the day, Hiryu was also sunk by U.S. dive bombers. In just 24 hours, Japan had lost four of its most powerful carriers, ships that had led the attack on Pearl Harbor just six months earlier. The Battle of Midway was a stunning victory for the U.S. Navy. 
Japan, which had hoped to crush the U.S. Pacific Fleet, instead suffered a crippling defeat. In addition to the loss of four carriers, Japan also lost hundreds of experienced pilots and crewmen, an irreplaceable blow to its military capabilities. For Japan, Midway marked the beginning of the end of their dominance in the Pacific. For the U.S., it was a turning point. With the Japanese fleet weakened, the U.S. Navy went on the offensive, gradually reclaiming territory across the Pacific. The Battle of Midway is remembered as one of the most important aeronaval battles in history. It showcased the power of intelligence, strategic planning, and the bravery of those who fought. Most importantly, it shifted the balance of power in the Pacific and set the stage for eventual Allied victory over Japan in World War II. Midway wasn't just a battle. It was a moment when the tide of history turned. A battle fought not just for territory, but for the future of freedom in the Pacific. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more stories from the world of aviation.